What this means is, is even without Enyo, you can build HTML5 applications for WebOS. Um, so, for example, if I want to just do um, uh, no Enyo, but I just want to, like, say, port uh, something that I've already got on the web, you can do that. So let me uh, see, I have a sample here that I wrote that uh, I believe And then we'll go into what ADO looks like with HTML5.
for me to go roll my own in your kinds that can integrate HTML5 tags that don't have their own kind of support. So let me show you what, uh, real briefly, what a Canvas application might look like. I'm going to my HTML5 samples. And I have something called Battleship, which if I ever hit time, energy, etc., I'll complete this and, and try to build the old-fashioned Battleship game. Uh, I'm going to show you um, mainly just the top part of, of this code. There's, a, there's multiple file management database stuff. I have some view setup stuff, whatever. But the main thing I'm going to show you is something like grid control, which is a custom kind that I built, you see here, with the name I asked that grid control, which is going to implement the canvas tag or wrap the canvas tag. So any there are there's a whole hierarchy of kinds in Indio, but we've only touched on some of it. But any visual element like this is typically der uh, derived from something called a DOM element builder, or DOM node builder, so inyo.dom node builder. And that uh, base kind has properties like node tag, it has DOM attributes, and a bunch of other stuff that let you basically um, more closely control the actual markup, the HTML markup, that gets generated when the kind renders. So I can go into this, uh, make this control and specify the node tag that's going to be used. So it's going to be a canvas tag. I can specify the attributes of that, the width, the height, etc. I can even define events. And more interestingly, there's a rendered method on the DOM node builder as well, which gets invoked once the uh, browser has actually created the element. And, that, and from that point, then, I can actually extract the node, the actual underlying Canvas node, and then start doing all of my Canvas stuff. So once render gets called, it means the DOM is loaded, the Canvas tag of the Canvas element exists. This stuff has nodes that you know, give me that. I assign that to Canvas, which is just a variable or a property now in my kind. And then I can do all the h Canvas stuff I want to get context to your D, Start making my paths, calls, you know, do all my drawing, do all the all the stuff that the uh, HTML5 canvas is good for. I can also add events. So just like in old traditional JavaScript, I can add event listeners. So I can set up a click handler for my canvas. Um, so if I click on it, you know, I can invoke this on click handler, which in my case is going to go do some drawing. It's basically just going to fill a rectangle or a grid. And down the road, once I get it all working, you actually store the points that I've selected in a WebSQL database, which is also supported for HTML5 on our devices. So let's see what this looks like when it runs. Go to HTML5. And run on Battleship here. So again, this is by no means complete. And, uh, but basically, here we have um, here's the grid, the Canvas element that we're talking about. And the other code in the application is packaging it up in um, sort of open and look and feel. So I've got a main view that has a header, the, the button, the new view. But in here, all the stuff inside this grid is, is being rendered by that grid control that I just showed you that's basically implementing HTML5 Canvas. So I can click on these elements. So eventually, like I said, you know, I'm hoping to figure out a way to complete this. And then this would be like Battleship. Uh, the DB view is not done yet, but basically what this is going to do is it's going to store a uh, track of the elements that you click so you can like pause, resume the game, etc. So here you see, you know, I'm doing Inyo. I'm going to go back to my grid, click grid view. I'll become the animations between scenes, all that stuff is implemented in Inyo. The buttons, the headers, all that stuff is Inyo. But just the graphics, the visuals of the game itself are implemented using HTML5 Canvas. So it's pretty nice. You can, you can kind of combine both of these technologies to build a you know, really nice such that application. You have you know, all the drawing stuff you want, but then you can kind of package it in a touchpad looking you know, UI shell. All right. So that is what Canvas, or Enio and Canvas looks like. Let me get back to my slideshow here. 